You have performed in so many different cultures and countries. Do you find there's different reactions to the form? Yeah, there is. I, 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 I think the Brits get uh, the Carry On movie sensibility I grew up with more than Canadians. Like, you know, the Brits like a good boob and fart joke. Right. You know, they do. Um, and there's a lot of that in my work. Uh, the Germans and the Austrians really took to, you know, what's, what's called my dark side in Canada is considered my deep side in Germanic cultures. So, of course. You know, if you rape a puppet or kill a puppet, of course. the Germans start sobbing <laughs> and they throw roses and they bring you back 12 times during the Hong Kong. They love that. So I really found, uh, felt I found my, my dark spiritual home with the Germanic audiences. Because stuff, you know, there were shows like Provenance that people had a problem with here. Right. Really had a problem with. And in Vienna, that show just s sailed. You know, people loved it. Did you perform in German in English. Vienna? In English. Yeah. And America? Well, I'm probably going back there next year. I've stayed away for a little while because it scared me. But, you know, I've, I've done well in New York a few times. Tinka did very well. Street of Blood did well. Uh, and then it all changed, you know, with 9-11 and all that stuff. But I think it's time to go back. Sorry, in their reaction to the stories you were telling or to the form that you told well, them? Well, you know, when I did Street of Blood there, it was during that time of the guy who had suspended a figurine of Christ in some urine and there was the uh, African painting of the Madonna with actual dung on the painting and suddenly the representation of Christ or religion in art was very controversial and I show up with Street of Blood where I play Christ you know so it was really bad timing and then 9-11 happened and suddenly there wasn't a lot of public discourse happening in America that I thought we were still used to here in this country. Right. Um, so I, I just got a little gun shy, but I think, I think there's some great theaters and great theater towns and great theater audiences all over that country, and it's on the same continent, and they speak my language, and I'm, I'm kind of hungry to go back to the states, especially with Penny Plain, which I think is. So an would you find moment. a tour manager, or you find a, a booker, or how would that work? We you know we we make liaisons. You know we. Right. We're basically starting from scratch again, but you know we have some contacts in this city or in New York, and people fly up and see the work. You can't send a video of this work; it doesn't translate. So presenters have to see it. Have they you tried? See it. Yeah. A video? Have you tried? Oh yeah, in the old days. But it does that thing that you, you say. It suddenly makes you look only at this thing, and what you're yeah. looking at would be, oh, this face is static, and it has strings, and everything that's. Um, uh, appealing theatrically about it suddenly becomes not very appealing for the camera. Yeah, it's also it's also uh, taking a camera and shooting a scene from a play. Yeah. They die. Yeah, they do. They just yeah. die because the you cannot capture the energy that comes down from you on that f film. Mm -hmm. You can't capture that like an actor in a scene on stage for a TV camera. You can't. The camera cannot capture the energy that comes from the performer to make the space alive. Exactly. And you remove those two things, it's... Uh, a large part of it's coming from out there. Yeah. You know, and if that's not yep. part and parcel of it, you're basically seeing an archive of something. Yeah.